The Raider of the Monies. Hey coders, the Raider here. In this episode of Data Pack Tools, we will be looking at how to edit the player's inventory data. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. In order to demonstrate this concept, I have quickly came up with a new weapon in Minecraft, the Emerald Sword. Now, what makes this weapon special is that it has durability. Now, that's not very crazy. But if you look right here, you can see it's a diamond sword, but it has 400 durability. So here, let's summon a hot skin. Okay. You'll notice one, the emerald sword has the ability of making enemies bleed emeralds. You'll also notice something. This durability is going down even though I'm in creative. And diamond swords don't have a durability of 400. So how is this working? Well, I'm glad you asked. So now on to the visualization. First, you want to place a shulker box at the bottom of the world where the player is. Then you want to take the selected item of the player, or whichever item you're trying to change the MBT of, and put it into that shulker box. For this, I'm changing the lore of the item and a tag, so I simply set a sign above that shulker box at zero, at the zeroth position of the world and have a scoreboard objective in that which has the damage of the selected item subtracted one. Then I take that first slot and set its lore from the text of the sign so therefore you get the scoreboard objective you don't have to have 400 different commands and lastly we set the select item from the shulker box using this command right here. Now basically what this command is doing, it's setting the player's main hand from the first, from the shulker box. But how it's doing that is it's using a custom loot table that I got from Triasher's video on his shulker box display system that basically drops everything in the shulker box instead of dropping the shulker box as itself. And this is unobtainable in normal survival because of its special tag that is necessary. And then this simply sets it to the selected item. So here we are in the main function of data pack tools. Now you see that there's a new function here called esMain. So if we go to play inventory, here are the five functions that run this. So in the main, first we're checking if they've used the diamond sword that's in the init. You can see if you've used a Minecraft diamond sword, the durability, the distance, and then make sure everyone has a distance of zero if they don't have any distance. So then it's going to run the use start function only if you're holding the correct weapon and you have just used it. So then it's gonna send set your distance to 25. This is so for this raycast, um, which detects the mob and does the emerald effect, only goes roughly four and five blocks. So you can't hit mobs who are 200 blocks away when you normally wouldn't be able to. The hit simply summons emerald and then adds the tag of hit. Then in the US start, the tag of hit is so the raycast stops. It's going to remove hit, and then here's what the visualization was about. It's going to set it to the shulker box, summon an item. This is a little intermediate step that helps with getting rid of the slot value. It's going to add temp so you can target it. Later it will kill the item with the tag of temp right here. Then it's going to modify the temp from your selected item, then modify the block from the temp so it loses the slot value. Then you simply grab the durability. I stored this in a tag called D. There's D colon for 400. And so this would return 400 and then it subtracts one. And then this is checking if the durability is zero because then what it'll do is set block bedrock, which will make it so it just erase the players um, selected item. Then it'll also play sound the item break. This is so it can select it with the tag here 
in the setting block of the oak sign. And this would just set it to say, hey, look like durability, and be all like that. Then you simply set the lore from the sign. You store the tag from the scoreboard so it, it actually moves down and it doesn't just stay the same. And then you have this little special command, which has the drop contents 1B, then simply set it back to bedrock. In order to have this data pack work, you need in the Minecraft loot tables blocks, you need this shulker box, which as you can see inside of it, it has some special code that basically just drops the insides if you have that MBT. This is from, again, Triasher's uh, shulker box GUI viewer. Now I bet you're wondering how to easily change the lore or whatever amount that you're gonna have in the durability of the item. So to demonstrate this, we have durability, then we have uses 10 out of 10. Now what I've done here, I've simply changed the D to instead of 400 to be 10, and the uses to be 10 out of 10 in color green. But if I summon husk, okay, you'll notice, hey, why does that go back to the normal system? I mean, it still is 10 because of the D's 10, but it goes back because in the code, this is still set to durability. So we have to make this uses, uses with a capital U. We want to make the color be green. Then we want to go over here, make this color green. And lastly, make this color green and make this out of 10. If we save and do slash reload, grab one of these and then summon husk. This is out of 10. We have four uses left. One use left, and it broke. Just like that. Super easy. That's it for today, folks. Thank you for watching. If you thought this was interesting, please leave a like and subscribe for more data pack content. If you, if you have an interesting data pack idea you would like to see on screen, please comment in the description below. And as always, keep coding.